fans. Make sure you subscribe and turn on notifications. That way you'll never miss a video with the great Papyrus. Enjoy. Do not cry, you foolish woman. Azrael, no! No, please! I have told you, another human will take everything from you. The point is, I am a human. What? You are so easy to manipulate, my lady. It is almost charming. You're able to believe in any of my words, no matter if they are true or not. You trust me even more than your husband's love. Too bad he's not with us anymore. Pathetic. But yes, I am truly a human being, just like you. But... How? I know I'm not as handsome as I used to be. I am forced to live within this cursed body without any chance to end my suffering for hundreds of years. Magic can be really destructive, my lady. I was one of the most powerful wizards in the world. One of the seven who created the barrier. I was working for the human king back then during the war between monsters and humans. He was a determined, yet brutal young man. His cruelty also affected his poor wife. However, he never hurt her. She was always doing her best to please and calm her beloved husband down. But after the war, things got much worse. I saw her crying many times, trying to hide her tears. The queen started to look for help. Understanding. Support. She came to me, seeking the wisdom of a man with a lot of life experience. And... I have never loved anybody so much. I knew she felt the same. She was so beautiful, smart, and good. But she could not live forever in this sin. You could imagine what the king's reaction was when he finally found out the betrayal. He banished his own wife, without even knowing she was carrying his own child. Later, soon I was taken to the top of the Mount Ibbot, where the king crushed my head with a sword and pushed into the underground, hoping that I would die. But it's not so easy to kill me. I used the darkest magic I knew to keep myself alive, gave up my blood and sanity, and this is how it ended for me. Why are you telling me this? Do you think I'm gonna pity you? My love for the Queen had survived and given birth to a child. They had their own child in the future, and so on and so on. Chara, you are her descendant! You look so much like her. You have her face, eyes, body. It makes me love you, desire you! Yes, the fact that you are not her awakens the pure hate in my heart! Because your stupidity reminds me only of him! Dirk... I... Did... It... Damn, Dirk. This kiddo... Was really... Hard to beat. Little furry son of a... Charil! What have you done to him? He is bleeding! Magnificent! Incredible! He is truly a perfect hybrid! Mommy! I did my best, but I couldn't protect the human. I'm so sorry. Gaster, I beg you! Spare his life! He's my child! Have mercy! I'll do anything you want! No, oh, Chara. Your bonding with the present is so strong you cannot see other possibilities. With all the souls you have collected and the unique soul of your son, I can finally make miracles! With this machine and the power of souls, I will be able to control time! Imagine it, Chara! I can go back in time, stop all the sorrow that has already happened! Not just destroy the barrier, I can prevent its creation! Now I have two revenants. Soon there will be an army! If I kill the king before the war starts, 
everybody would have their happy endings. And I will see her once again. I will stay forever with the woman I love. Chara, my dear, believe me, I am not a villain. How? What do you not understand again? How are you going to look in her eyes, remembering all the things you've done in another timeline? Haven't you thought about that? <laughs> I see this fear in you, Gaster. You think you're smart, huh? I could wipe your pain away, make you forget it. I don't trust you. You're a psycho. Indeed, I am. Papyrus, put those souls in the machine. Sons, bring me the prince. What? No! Sons, please! You don't have to listen to him! Sons, remember who is your master. Sons! I'm sorry, Queen. Mommy! Help me! Enough! Sons! Papyrus! How dare you! I don't care about the consequences. I did a lot of wrong things already. But I won't let you be in charge of this whole timeline, times out, space thing! You idiot! Only I can control the void! If you kill me while it is open, the time will become unstable! Any determined soul will be able to save and reset! We're not gonna hurt you, Doc. However, the void is full of vengeful creatures. They want to say hello to you. Be nice, Gaster. Sons, Papyrus, I, I, I am your, your creator! You, you have to uh, obey me! Get Doc done! No! Please! Sons. The machine is broken and will turn off in a minute or two. Time is still unstable, but everything will come back to normal. Except that Gaster will stay in the void. Nothing will be normal anymore. I'm sorry, but we could never kill Gaster on our own. The only way to get rid of him was to get him sucked into the void. And... You know. You must have misunderstood. Once, I wanted to take revenge on humanity. But I haven't done that because of my love for Asriel, and everyone I could lose. In the end, I lost everything anyway. So maybe if I'd get rid of feelings and emotions, I'd do what had to be done with no regrets. Wait, you are... Any determined soul will be able to save and reset. This is what Gaster said. What about a race? Because there's nothing left for me in this world. Sons, you've betrayed me when I needed you the most. Your soul? It can't be. I will make you watch your loved ones die over and over. So pray to every god you know. Is that... determination? If I meet you again, in another timeline, I'll show you genocide.